I'm Katherine Ross, Executive Director at the Center for Teaching and Learning at Columbia, and this is Dead Ideas in Teaching and Learning. We have designed this podcast to engage our higher ed colleagues through the metaphor of dead ideas, because we believe that teaching is a critical practice driven by inquiry, experimentation, reflection, and collaboration. In this series, we ask instructors and students about dead ideas they have encountered in their teaching and learning experiences. We start the season talking to Diane Pike, a professor of sociology at Augsburg University and the author of The Tyranny of Dead Ideas in Teaching and Learning. When you use words like tyranny and dead ideas, that can be a pretty compelling way to have people think about what you're about to say. It's trying to understand the way students see the world today, and we need to be able to adapt to that and provide the best opportunities that we can. We talk with Michelle Miller, a professor of cognitive psychology from Northern Arizona State University and author of Minds Online, How to Teach Effectively with Technology. So NERM is quite simply, or what we conceive of today in education, as misconceptions about the mind, brain, and or learning that might pertain to teaching. And some of these are some of the most notorious, unkillable ideas that are out there. With each guest, we confront different dead ideas and unpack how their teaching and learning have evolved in response. And then everything changed. In March 2020, the pandemic dramatically shifted teaching and learning here at Columbia and around the world as faculty rushed into remote teaching. But the dead ideas remained. Soon after this transition, we spoke with Carl Wyman, professor of physics and of the Graduate School of Education at Stanford University. Even the most hardcore believer, and what a wonderful lecture they are, has to recognize at some level that, you know, student sitting there listening to them on a computer screen that's displaying 17 other more interesting things for the students to do <laughs> is not likely to be very effective. We also talked to Columbia students about their experiences using technology to learn remotely and what they have learned about their own motivations and the teaching practices that work best for them. I really don't think uh, grading is going to motivate any type of learning, but rather, especially on a curve, is going to motivate competition and it's going to motivate just purely getting a good grade. That's all it makes you good at doing. Right now with pass fail, I feel like students are doing things they are interested in. And I think what's motivating that interest, at least for me and my immediate friends, is how you know relevant it is and then how much we care about the professor and the relationship we have there. When we can name a dead idea, we can confront it. Dead ideas is a space for reflection, transformation, and learning. We hope these radically honest conversations will inspire light bulb moments for those listening as they reflect on and refine their understanding of teaching and learning. Dead Ideas is produced by the Center for Teaching and Learning at Columbia University. We hope you'll join us.